What's going on guys, it's me, Dreamliner Fan 2016 here, and today we have the Gemini Jets November 2023 releases for you guys. Super excited to dive down into another Gemini Jets release set as we do have the November 2023 releases from them. And yeah, I'm just super excited with to what like they have in their stock for like what they have for November 2023. So really nice right there. And yeah, I'm just super excited for these release sets. So yeah, I'm just super excited to dive down into these releases. And yeah, you can see what Gemini Jets has for November 2023. Now we're gonna do something a little different because like I tried checking on the Gemini Jets website and unfortunately I don't know what happened but it says that the release page should be back soon like they just hinted the releases today however it's kind of like I don't know like they did not like update their website on the releases for November 2023 so I'm not sure what's the deal here but yet again we do have the November 2023 releases but let's look at these models for the October 2023 so Currently, I'm on Instagram right now since they released their hints on their Instagram page, so I'm just excited for that. But other than that, I'm just super excited what they have in store. So yeah, a little bit of a change up right here, but hope you guys enjoy the releases. And yeah, let's look at some highlights. Of course, the main highlight, of course, yeah, baby. Delta 175 wow. Oh man, I'm just super happy they finally released it. And it looks so nice in 1 for 100 scale. Wow, the, the printing of the delivery. The colors, wow. Once again, thank you Gemini Jets for making this mall in 1 for 100 scale. It should be a nice addition to my collection. Because right now, two malls are, the two last thing 175s I ordered are on their way. So I'm just super excited to get this model in my collection. A blessing from Gemini Jets. Thank you so much. Wow. And there's my comment right there, so as you can see. Wow. But other than that, uh, there's some other comments too, but yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ignore those. Here's a Spirit H321 Neo, of course, in their, well, questionable H320 mold from Gemini Jets. But yeah, I think the livery looks very nice, though. I do like the color. Here's a Soft 340 from WestJet. I think it's a nice addition. It's a nice representation for this model. So yeah, very nice. Here's our Crack Honey, Simon People Libby. Another nice model as a nice addition to Gemini Jets right there. Although it's quite questionable at best. So, here it is right there. And yeah, the next slide should show like the releases. So once again, quite different. But other than that, we're going to go into these releases in the form of Instagram. So without being said, oh, before that, I already saw one release set. It's an American 787-Shade in 1 to 100 scale. Under that, I mean, it's a 1 to 100 model. Under that, I did not see the 1 for 100 parts, like the 1 for 100 models. But under that, I'm just super excited to dive down into the NG, not NG, the Gemini Jets releases. So with that being said, let's get into the Gemini Jets November 2023 releases. So, go into this part right here, click on this arrow, let's see what the first model is. I think we're gonna start with 1200s. Who knows, but let's see. But, yeah, it could be, it could be either 1200s or 1400s. But other than that, let's get started with our first model on deck. Let's see what we have first. And, whoo, how about this? A Gemini Ace, what is it? US Navy F-18 Super Hornet Vandor 1, 166. Six seven three seven three VX nine Bandy one retro gloss black scheme item number is GA USN one zero 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 four. Wow, that is a very interesting choice right there from their Gemini Ace release. Very cool and yeah, very nice fighter jet from Gemini like from the US Navy. So as you can see, there's the XE and then you got some logo right there. Very nice stuff from NG. I'm not NG. The Gemini Aces. So nice that Gemini Jets has like has some models on their Gemini Ace department. And yeah, it should be a very nice addition for the fighter planes. Like anybody who loves aviation, like military aviation. So that's a nice addition right there. Alright, so yeah, that's basically it for the Gemini Aces. So next up we should have is we're moving on. There we go. So here is the 1 200 American 787 right there. So yeah, this is the only model I saw, and yeah, nothing too special. Uh, what's the registration? Uh, let me try to zoom in. Actually, it's better if I could just like do it like this. So yeah, I could just do it like this, and then yeah, call it a day. So yeah, here's the American 787-Shade. Of course, they just already released this in 1400 a couple of months back, but now they're going to release it in 1200 for November. So this aircraft is registered November 808 Alpha November. So yeah, very nice addition. Yeah, nice for the American collectors. Alright, next mall on deck we should have is... Next up... Oh, yes! How about this? 
wow, we're already going through something very special right here as we do have November 863 Golf Tango, the last Boeing 747 in 1 to 100 scale. So this is the Atlas Air Apex Logistics Boeing 747 Shade Freighter. And wow, that is like very special aircraft right there, the 747 Shade. A very special registration, the final aircraft. Of course, the aircraft was. The last 747 was delivered in late January and early February. So they had a ceremony in late January and then they delivered this aircraft to Atlas Air on February 1. So it's a very special moment. It's a very special day for many aviation enthusiasts. And I'm glad that Gemini Jets is doing that in 1 to 100 scale for the 1 to 100 counterparts. So very nice right there. So once again, this aircraft is registered November 863 Gulf Tango. Very nice addition. And yeah, they, they did not specify the price range, so yeah, that's how they roll. Other than that, it's a very nice addition for the 1 200 collectors who love the 747. It's a very special thing right there. Very nice. Alright, and next up, the region I have next is. Next up. Wow, what is this? That is a very interesting livery right there. Um. The Boeing 727 registered November 408 Bravo November. Is it like a branded? Hang on, I gotta like look at that registration. So of course, I, not, I don't want to see everything in a full picture on the description, but we do have this. So what is that? Uh, is that 408 Bravo November? That is a blow up on the Boeing 727 and it's very interesting. Movie. Yeah, I'm kind of like looking at it right now. It's like November 408 8 November, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, uh, I don't like, specify. Oh, whoa, whoa, I think we're going a little far back. I saw like something Delta Airlines, maybe. What is that? Uh, Calder. Oh, brand. It's a brand F, so I'm not looking. I'm just staring at this. You probably already saw what's in there, but I did not see anything. But we have a brand F in an actual 727 200 Cal. Calder Bicentennial colors. Very interesting right there. Huh. Very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. So that's a brand of 727. Um, that's a very interesting livery, I will add. That's something I did not expect Gemini Jets to release, but that's a very cool livery right there. So, and yeah, this aircraft did exist back then. So, once again, that aircraft is registered November 408, Bravo November. So yeah, very nice livery overall. Now, of course, I already saw a Delta Airlines. I saw there it was an H thirty Neo, so I was specified that it is an H thirty Neo. And what did I tell? And what did I tell you? So here it is. So Delta Airlines Airbus A three thirty nine hundred Neo, looking very nice in one four hundred scale. Of course, I did see this registration November four zero seven Delta X ray in Seattle back in June two thousand twenty two. I have not got the counterpart like the one four hundred counterpart as of late, but hopefully I can get that soon. I already have the Team USA Libby already, so hopefully I can get the regular Libby in 1200 scale. So, should be a nice model for the 1200 set, and yeah, nice addition to the 1200 guys. So, yeah, very nice model to add from that release set. So, once again, aircraft registration November 407 Delta X ray. Alright, so I think we should move on to our next model. Next up, model we should have is. Wow! Okay! This is interesting. We have a Porter Airbus. Not Airbus. That is a Porter Ember E1. Is that like an Ember E195 E2? That looks like a. Yeah, that looks like an E195 E2. How about this? That is so cool. I don't think Gemini Jets has never released a E2 aircraft. So this could probably be a new mold from them. Wow. Very cool right there. So I think it was yesterday that they did like an inaugural for Porter. Wow. That so cool, like inaugural for their E190 slash 95 E2. Wow, that's a very nice addition. That's something very nice right there. So this aircraft is registered. Charlie Golf Kilo Quebec Lima. Wow. Never knew that Gemini Jets would do a 1-200 E195 E2. Wait, is that right? E2? Uh, yep, E195 E2. I just don't want to like look at everything. So yeah, really nice, nice addition to that. And yeah, very nice stuff right there. So once again, very nice aircraft for the Canadian collectors. Alright, so now moving on next, we should have is a Qantas 767-300. I think that's a 300ER freighter. Wow, very cool. Hmm, interesting. So, of course, it's in the interactive series, so that's a nice addition. 
so as you can see the opening doors and then this cool contraption where the door is like just opens up upwards so yeah that's a very nice addition i think that's a 300 er like 300 er yeah I'll, I'll just say 300 f so not sure if this registration is a 300 er but yeah very nice addition to the Qantas collectors and yeah it should be very nice in one for the scale so this air not one for other this is the one 200 counterparts so this aircraft is registered victor hotel echo foxtrot romeo yeah victor hotel echo foxtrot romeo is the registration of this Qantas 767 pointer so very nice right there and moving on next we should have is there we go so we have our spirit airlines airbus a320 neo coming in in one 200 scale now they just released this model back in like 2000 not 2000 but this was back in the october 2022 release so so yeah they're not they're not really releasing it in one 200 scale now so that's very nice right there and yeah it should be a nice it's a nice model from the spirit the spirit a 20 neo black mass it's a nice model but yeah really excited to for the collectors to get this yeah excuse me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i've been talking for a while but yeah this aircraft is registered November 9871, November Kilo. So yeah, that's the exact same registration they did last month. So yeah, very nice model and nice that the Spirit A320 Neo Black Mass is coming in 1200 after they released it last month for 1400. So nice addition to that. Now let me just get a sip of water real fast. Something fell, I don't know what it was, but oh wait, that's just the model, but my bad. But other than that, let's move on. So next up we should have is United Airlines Boeing 777-300ER, wow, okay, so, wait, 300ER, right, that, that's, that has GE90s, okay, just make it sure, but nice, we're getting a 1-200-300ER from United Airlines, of course, I already have a United Airlines 777-300ER by NG Models, so if they ever make this in one one scale, yeah, I don't bother with that, I already have one in my collection, either way, but yeah, really nice that Gemini Jets is doing a re-release of the United 777-300ER, of course, this is the 1-200 scale, and we should also get the flaps down version. So the flaps down version should be very nice. And yeah, and of course, what's the registration to... Oh, I, I'm not sure if I can try to make up the registration, but the registration of that aircraft is November 2352 uniform. And wow, they did like, they're going against NG because NG did this registration on the September 2022 releases. And I did see this aircraft at San Francisco International Airport in April 2022. So... Yeah, really nice that Gemini Jets is going against, well, I'm not sure if they're really competing against NG on that one. They did not release this at the same month, but other than that, really nice to have another addition to this registration coming in at 1200, and possibly soon 1400. And yeah, we should probably have a flaps down version, should we? Actually, no, we don't. Wait, there's supposed to be a flaps down version. I don't know what happened right there, but next up, we do have a UPS MD11 interactive series. Another nice addition right there for the interactive series for the MD-11. Of course, they did release the FedEx, FedEx, like the FedEx MD-11 in the interactive series. So, nice that Gemini Jets is now doing the UPS counterpart, counterpart for the MD-11. And, can't hardly know what that registration is, but, um, UPS MD-11, it's kind of, the winglet is blocking the registration, so, um, not sure what that registration it has the 87 uniform papa so i'm not sure what that registration is so like um i'm looking right now so like um so yeah it's a 387 like something 787 uniform papa so i'm kind of like looking at the google to see what it is and just to make sure I'm trying to make sure um yeah so really nice um yeah, I'm still looking at the stuff right there. Like, so I'm just gonna search up 87 Uniform Papa. Not sure what that registration is. 287, I think it's November 278 Uniform Papa. No, 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 not that one. That's that's a different registration. Well, my bad. Um, what's that? Yeah, I don't know what happened right there, but the winglet is blocking it. It did not show like the actual registration. It does not show like the actual registration completely. So I don't know what's the deal there, but. Yet again, let me see. Um, yeah, just making sure. But on that, nice that we have an interactive series UPS MD11. All right, so now we move on. Next up, we should have is hmm, very interesting stuff right here. So now we have a KC35, KC135. Yeah, can KC135. Excuse me. So we have a KC135 from Andrews Air Force Base. So that should be another nice model for the military guys right there. 
And yeah, that's gonna do it for like the 1 to 100 counterparts. I'm not sure if we have more, but that's gonna do it for like the 1 to 100 counterparts right there. Overall, really nice additions for like the 1 to 100. So yeah, we got the US Air Force aircraft, page 135 from the Andrews Air Force Base. And this aircraft it has a serial number or registration. 71512. I'm not sure if that's the registration of the aircraft, but yet again, it's they don't specify that as a registration. Other than that, real nice addition to like the 100 counter, like the 100 models. Of course, we got a porter. The porter is very interesting. The porter E195 E2. That's something that I did not expect Gemini Jets release. As well for this brand F727 right here, Kelden. That's very cool right there. Of course. The 863 Golf Tango last 747 is a very special release from Gemini Jets right there, of course, commemor commemorating the last 747. And yeah, overall, quite some interesting right there. Not much of a big, like, I'm not sure if it's a big set, I can't even hardly tell, but yet again, very nice stuff from Gemini Jets on that, on my behalf. But yeah, now let's move on to some 1400s, hopefully we get a Gemini Max. And yeah, we should expect some Gemini Max models, or maybe just Gemini Jets. But let's see what the Gemini Jets models are. One for hundreds. Next up, ooh, we're now going straight to one for hundred now. We're going straight to one for hundred land. As we do have the Avianca Airbus A320, and I'm assuming this is the attack of Retro Libby. So, very nice addition right there. And yeah, it looks very nice. Sorry about that guys, I kind of have a bit of an interruption. But we do have the Avianca A320 in the Taka Libby once again. A very nice Libby that's coming in in 1 for 100 scale. And yeah, I think NG Malls did it a couple of months back. Probably like somewhere in the beginning of 2023. But yeah, I guess Gemini Jets is gonna do it under take on their A320 mold. Although it's quite controversial. So yeah, I think, yeah, it's a very nice Libby overall. And yeah, I think Gemini Jets should at least do a good job on this Taka Retro Libby. So this aircraft is registered November 567 Alpha Victor. Alright, so next model on our list we should have our next model of 1 for 100 scale. Next up we should have is. Ooh, yes! Delta Airlines Airbus A219. Very interesting stuff right here. So, well, you could say it's quite it's quite exciting, but yet again, NG Malls has already done a Delta A219 already. So, Gemini Jets is gonna be going against NG on their take on their A219. I think I'll just rather stick with the NG version. Don't get me wrong, I think. While Gemini Jets has a controversial A319 mold, especially with the CFM engines and the nose shape, I think this model should turn out okay. Yet again, it's quite controversial from my behalf. But other than that, it should be a nice model, and yeah, I would just like stick with the NG. If you want the Gemini version, then be my guest, but yet again, I'm more loyal on NG, so I'll just take the NG version instead. So this aircraft is registered November 378 November, not 378, November 371 November Bravo. So yeah, really nice addition to the Delta Airlines, and yeah, nice that Gemini Jets is doing a Delta A319. Alright, next model on our list we should have next is Emirates Airbus A350-900 current livery? That is interesting right here. Huh. Wow, that's kind of like an interesting choice from Gemini Jets. Of course, I think Emirates still has some A350s on order. Uh, I'm not sure when their first A350 is going to be delivered to Emirates. But yet again, like we do have this Libby, of course, with Gemini Jess's contract and their, well, their partnership with Emirates to prove them like, oh, they're gonna like make money and all that. But yet again, they're sponsoring Gemini Jess sponsoring Emirates right there. But yeah, really nice to have like an 1850. And yeah, quite an interesting choice. They ordered like Airbus, like Emirates has the order of 50 Airbus 1850s, and the their deliveries are being planned to start in 2024. So it's kind of like a couple of months away. But yet again, we do have this Airbus A350 from Emirates, and this aircraft is registered Alpha 6 Echo Ecto Alpha. Quite an interesting registration right there. So yeah, that's the Emirates A350 right there. Next up we should have is, let me go to the next one. Next up we should have is Lufthansa, oh wow, nice. Lufthansa Airbus A380 current livery, wow, what? What a choice right there from Gemini Jets. Wow, that is a great choice. Mm, wow, that, that's a very nice aircraft right there. Wow, Latanza Airbus AT80, the AT80 from Latanza. They just re they just recently came back to LAX just a couple of days ago, so kind of like a good choice. I mean, they're doing it in the, like in the current movie. Of course, the AT80s has been returning to the U.S. as of like this year, 
But yeah, hopefully I can try to get my hands on a Latanza 8080 at some point, but yet again, I could go for the Gemini, or I can also try going for the Aviation 400. Who knows, but other than that, we do have this beautiful Lufthansa Airbus 8080 registered Delta, I think that's Delta Alpha India My Kilo, or November Kilo. Hang on, let me look at that registration. Delta Alpha, and that registration this. Um, yeah, Delta Alpha India My Kilo is the registration of this Lufthansa Airbus A380. So, nice option right there, Gemini Jets. The European collectors, especially those who are from Germany, are gonna be excited for that. And some people who has the Lufthansa AT80 coming to their airports in the US. So very nice option right there. Alright, so next up we should have is next up as I go on next. Next up we should have Yes, the Mua 1 is coming in one for on the scale from Gemini Jets. Wow, very nice right there. So Nice that Gemini Jets is gonna do Imbu 1 on their behalf, like on their version, or 737 Max version. Of course, Imbu 1, they got released in, it got released in, well, the Liberty debuted it in late April 2023, and Angie Moss was the first one to make this in one point scale under July releases. I do have the Imbu 1 Angie Moss version, but it's still available on Angie's website, so I'm quite surprised, but Gemini Jets is gonna, they're also gonna do a good job on this delivery. Of course, it's a very beautiful delivery from Southwest, and they did an absolutely wonderful job making this model, well, making this special delivery, and yeah, very nice stuff right there. So, yeah, of course I get to see him do a one twice, of course, in Sacramento, because it's just a beauty. She's just beautiful. She's just beautiful. So this aircraft is registration. The registration for that aircraft, of course, November 8710 Mike. The registration of this beautiful Max 8. But yeah, I think Gemini Jets' Emule 1 version it should be okay. I mean, like, not as superior as the NG version, but I think NG is gonna, like, NG is just better. But I'll say that Gemini Jets is gonna do good under Emule 1, and yeah, not in the lines between, like, NG, but yet again, they're, they're 737 Max is okay. Let's just say that. It's good. It's good. So yeah, very nice. Alright, next up we should have is. A trail. Whoa! Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. What is. Whoa! Oh. Okay, whoa! Okay, this. <laughs> okay! Trans World Airlines Airbus 8. Not Airbus. What the? What am I saying? What is. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna. What? Okay! Trans World Airlines McDonald's Largest MD80 Final Livery. Oh my god! What? Where are we going right here from Gemini Jets? Where. <sighs> Okay, this should be a nice model for the retro collectors right here. We got like the DWA Twin Stripes MD80 MD back in like March and February, but now we're getting the final look for this? Wow, that is okay. Because <sighs> I have the TWA MD80 Twin Stripes in my collection already. Now I'm tempted of getting the final Louie one because oh my god, that is like something right there. That's just like, mm, wow. Might I might see that that just a wow nice choice from Gemini Jets in the retro department. Wow, that is awesome right there. So this aircraft is registered November 9060 Tango Whiskey. So yeah, many collectors, retro collectors, especially JJ Skippy, is gonna be excited for this mall right here. Wow, that is just a beauty right there. Wow, very nice. Once again, this is a TWA MD80 in their final livery, so that is a very nice choice from the Gemini Jets. Alright, so do we have some more models coming in? Let's see. Next up we should have is United Airlines Airbus A321. Okay, so Gemini Jets, they're going against NG Models because Gem NG Models also released a United A321 Neo on their November 2023 releases. So Gemini Jets, they're going against Angie models again, they're going head to head with each other. Of course, like, Angie's gonna be better, but wow, that is just something. <laughs> Cause like, now we're getting this in 1.0 scale, and then, well, Gemini Jets is gonna do their United A21 Neo in 1.0 scale. Angie just released their 1.0 A21 Neo on their November releases, so they're going against each other again. That is something interesting. They wanna see who can produce the A21 Neo first. Who knows? But yet again. Very nice option right there. So of course this aircraft is just November 44501. And yeah, something similar to this, I'll just prefer the NG version because the NG A321 Neo mold looks absolutely beautiful. Alright, so now we move on downwards, like downwards. Yeah, let's move on. 
so I think we should have more miles to like see what we have next. Next up we should have is a UPS Boeing 7474. Oh yeah, talent show, let's go! Talent show! <laughs> Woo! UPS 7400 talent show, let's go! <laughs> it has a special stick, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I think, is this some kind of like CGI error? But oh my god. <laughs> so, if you get what I was referring to, it was at like one time where, oh, there were, like we were like spotting during Airliners International 2023. We saw UPS 747 400 coming on our side. We were like at the very high floor of the Hyatt Regency DFW Hotel. Connor said that it took off right in front of us. What a talent show. <laughs> So and now we're getting the talent show in one for one scale. Yes, I'm so gonna get that because I do want to represent that. Not sure what registration is this for this UBSM for. I'm not really quite sure. It's kind of like blurry, but very nice stuff right there. So yeah, I'm very excited for this model. I will get that also. I think we should have a flaps down version. I'm not sure, but yeah, yeah. Um, who knows? We might have, but yeah, yeah. It should, it should be a nice model in one for one scale. I'm very excited for that model as my collection uh, yeah i'm just kind of looking what that registration because like of course it's kind of like blurry it's something like november 5h3 uniform papa or like maybe i'm not sure i mean it kind of kind of is uniform papa like i'm once again i'm not sure this is kind of like in their current house also so yeah um yeah i'm trying to look at the registration but it's kind of like something Five eight, I don't know what the third number is, and then it ends with a uniform papa. So quite interesting stuff right there, and yeah, it should be a nice model. I will get that model just to represent the talent show itself. So yeah, UPS M four seven four hundred, very nice addition, four hundred frame to be exact. Probably like a BCF, not sure. actually no, not a BCF, just a four hundred F. But yeah, very nice addition right there. All right, so now we move on. Next up we should have is. And here's our last mall right here. We have a Ural Airlines Airbus A321neo. Of course, this is a Russian airline, so I'm not really going to complain too much right there. I don't really care too much about Russian airplanes and all that, but yet again, it should be a nice mall for all the Russian collectors, but yeah, never knew they would like do a Ural Airlines for Gemini decks. I don't really like recall if there was a, like a Ural Airlines one for one mall, but yeah, very nice addition. Of course, not being me, I'm not a fan of collecting. Russian models, but it should be a nice one. Like, it should be a nice model for all the Russian collectors. Everyone who wants to get this. But yeah, very nice model right away, but yeah. So this aircraft is registered in Romeo Alpha 73880. It does not have like the, I think it was Victor Holtz, like something, something, like it has a different registration, but this is just like a Russian registered airplane, so it belongs to like Russia. So yeah, quite interesting right there. And I think that should do it for like the Gemini Jets releases. I guess so. So, Overall, very interesting choices right there. Once again, going for something a little different. The varieties are quite interesting. So the, like the Avianca A320, and then you also got some 1200 models like the American 788, the last 747 right there. And then brand is very interesting. Uh, Delta 3900 Neo is also a nice one. Porta is also a nice one too. Qantas, and then you got Spirit. United Airlines Triple Three and then FedEx Interactive is 11. The Gemini Ace FA18, yeah, Vandy One is a very nice addition. That's a nice model right there. And of course, we have our one for one counterpart. So we have our one for one is like the Avianca, Taka, Airbus A319 for Delta Airlines, Emirates A350, Lufthansa A380, Ingo One, and then the TWA Final Libby. Okay, now. I think that's the only model I'm gonna get in that release set because that is just a absolute something. That is very cool right there. TWA MD80 Final Livery. I think JJ Skippy, like there he is right there. So happy about the TWA MD80. He's gonna get that. I might also get that too because that is just a unit right there. Of course, I do have the two inch stretch one, but I think I'm tempting of getting the Final Livery one as well. So very cool right there. Of course, we got our United A221 Neo, and then we got the Talent Show UPS 747-400. Uh, yeah, it's a 400F. And yeah, and we got this Ural Airlines Airbus A221 Neo. Other than that, that's it's that's the one model I'm going to purchase, that, TW, that TWA MD80. That's a, quite an interesting, but yet again, there isn't like much US varieties, of course, like... Well, I don't know if I want to call it US varieties. Of course, we got a couple of like... Nice stuff, but with all the engine models releases, I'm, it's okay. I'm like, 
I were to give like a percentage on this release set, I would say like an 81%. Yeah, kind of like an 81%. Actually, what that TWA, I'll just bump that off to like an 82 because like that TWA, TWA MD80 is very something. It's caught me quite surprised. Caught me by surprise. That TWA MD80 is a very nice addition to that release set. So kind of like say that release a bit, but yet again. And I wish there was more like nice varieties, like more international varieties and more US varieties. But yet again, it's a good release set from Gemini Dead overall. And yeah, I'm looking forward on getting that TWA MD80 final delivery. Final delivery, excuse me. I've been talking so much. <laughs> I need a drink of water as well. But as I was saying, I hope I can get that TWA MD80 final delivery in the foreseeable future. If not, during Black Friday or so. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.